but yeah, we're basically gonna go and gonna go down the throne of destruction and take out all of Baal's waves of demons and then fight Baal. And then I mean if I can remember before I just automatically go back and finish the quest with Tyrael, I would like to go into the Kale dimension. Um I can't I can't 100% remember how I did that, but I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure it was like Wurt's leg in a town portal or something. I think that's what I did last time. But yeah, I'll be able to do Nightmare Cow level. And I want to do that basically before I finish Nightmare this time. That would be nice. So what I'm going to do in Cow level is I'm going to run around and I'm going to kill everything. And then I'll pick up stuff. So yeah. That should help, because um, last time what I did is I loot Goblin and like pick stuff up at the same time. Um, oops. And I don't want to... Oops. God oh, damn it, I drank my potion. Oh, that's right, my hands. Classic Diablo. Every week I don't have my hand in the position for what I'm trying to do. Yeah, how the fuck is everyone? So, yeah, I'm going to use that later. Um, I've got spare stuff, I've got health... Pretty sure I don't have anything in my cube and I've got to go down here. So I basically have to clear myself a pass back down. I don't know if there was a third level or if it was a third level. But yeah, I basically don't want any demons between me and where I'm going because if I die I've got to come back through here. So I'm going to get rid of everything I can in the direct passage through. That way I don't get like attacked later. So yeah, I don't know. It's interesting knowing that I'm up to a point of like fighting Baal, like I don't know, I'm like level 66, that seems right. Um, it's gonna be hard because like the way my character is specced, um I'm thinking I'm gonna probably bring in my potions. Uh not potions, the uh charms. Sorry, I was looking at this, I'm like, I need to use a potion. But yeah, no, I probably should bring in my charms for Baal. Because even though I managed to fight, I think, Diablo without it, I don't want to take that risk. Get some health going. Should probably put a decoy down. Uh, what else is this in there? Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I missed any other messages back there. But yeah. Every Thursday there's no sound alerts because like I don't want interruptions for Diablo. I can. Obviously I can't do anything about um uh what do you call it like uh subs and raids and stuff like that. They're the only two things that I can't really like disable. Like I can, but um I wanna know when that shit's happening. So where are we up to? We got Oh man, I'm gonna be Hopefully fighting fucking Baal with this being perfectly 105. Nice. I'm 67 now. Okay. Last time we did all of this, so it's all fives, which means I can finally put some points in here. The only problem is I can't buff up this one yet because it's already a fucking seven. And I understand that like buffing up the ones behind it aren't gonna fix it, but 12 year old me did this, so that's what we're doing. So how I am at the moment is about as powerful as I'm gonna be going up against Baal. Alright, there's nothing else here. Like, I've only cleared that line, so there could be other monsters and stuff that come by. Hopefully not. Hey, Ghostly. How's your morning going? I'm just trying to clear a passage between me and, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Throne of Destruction. So basically, I'm trying to clear out, like, nearby, like, uh, what do you call it? Demons and shit. So that side, and... I my only problem is down here could be that really bad room. Like, if there's some in the area, looks like there is. Oh, they start to feel good again. Nice. That's good. Do you still need the surgery or have you had that? Um, my passage of time sense is not the greatest, so it's hard to tell like when that may have been. Or when that would be. You guys. I can grab the experience shine, that's gonna help me so much. I don't need to, but medicine's helping. Nice. Well, 
at least the medicine is helping. At least, like, relieve, like, some discomfort and stuff in the meantime. That's good. Um, you know, as long as you're not, like, I don't know, you probably still are suffering on some level, but, like, at least you're not suffering as much while you're waiting, which is kind of nice. Oh, man. I got so much fucking sleep today. Like, Doom wore me the hell out. So, um, I ended up... I ended up, like, not falling asleep until about 10, because I had, like, stuff to do. Um, but yeah, I, I ended up sleeping probably from 10 a.m. until that, till 9 p.m. I basically woke up, like, nibbled on some stuff, and then, yeah, started stream. So that's, that's about how, like, my today is gone, which isn't too bad. I probably should have moved you guys over the other way so I didn't have to move them. That's fine. Glad you got plenty of rest. Yeah. Normally in the lead up to like a random game night or like a game where I'm a little bit stressed about something. Like random game night, I hadn't done one in four months and the only concern I really had was because I haven't uh, played random games through Streamlabs really much. Um, I didn't know if the, I was going to encounter any like stream breaking errors or something like that you know and I'm like I'd have to troubleshoot it on the fly basically and because I'm basically oh, a one person team I gotta figure all that shit out myself you know so yeah it uh it's a little bit concerning in case like something happens and stuff get off me mate what can I there we go yeah so obviously like I was a little bit concerned that like something might happen and uh, it, it, got, it was fun. I had so much fun. It was great. Um, and yeah, I definitely feel like I kind of know... I kind of know my stream program now enough that I could probably troubleshoot something. Very cool that you could do all that on your own. So, thank you. I was literally like having a thought earlier that... Um, like, you know how... Oh, I need to go back. You know how people literally... Um, like, there are some people in the world that, like, uh, line their resume to get jobs and stuff like that, right? And I was thinking about it and I'm like, in a sense, as far as streaming goes, like, I literally kind of signed up to do something that I have zero experience in and just been winging it from the beginning. And I'm like, god damn, I'm doing exactly what those people do with their resumes except, like, I'm doing it live at all times. I'm like, God damn. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of had that like realization dawn on me earlier and it was very, um, a very humbling kind of made me feel very small in the world kind of thing. I don't know how that works, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm proud of myself for like being able to like bumble through and like learn all this stuff, but still it's like a, a strange realization kind of thing I don't know how best to say it but yeah I don't know like in the streamer world uh, you don't really have like, unless you join like say uh, reddit or discord communities you don't really have any like peers particularly like being a streamer you kind of don't really have anybody that you can kind of just ask how do you how do I do this um, you don't really have like anybody else that like if you've got a, a problem or you've got to troubleshoot something there is nobody to contact um, you just have to kind of figure it out like I'm very good at like using Google on YouTube and stuff like that so I can like find stuff I can figure it out but I imagine that it must be fucking difficult for like anybody that's not tech savvy like I'm a bit tech savvy so it's not too daunting for me but it's still it's still challenging it's still challenging as all hell um it should be uh that's for sure i've been spending a very large amount of time learning video editing oh yeah i want to be an editor but i'm a perfectionist so it's hard when you're worse than me i understand that i'm also a perfectionist um I get it probably the worst in my art, but um, 
yeah, I, I give a shit about that too, down to like the timing and stuff. Like when I first started editing my videos, to like cut them up into parts and stuff, one of the first things that bugged me was the fact that I wanted it not to cut off like mid-sentence or mid-word and stuff like that, but I realized that like no matter what I did, unless I was doing a style of uh, recording where like I pause between like words or sentences, there was no way for me to get like an even count of time on my videos. So if I was to like part up a four hour stream, right, which is two sixty minutes, um, I would want to like divide that by eight and whatever that division is, is how I'd want to like break up the video. But like there's times when I don't finish exactly on four hours or you know there's like a few seconds break or something like that I'm like I just have to whoa I just have to accept that it isn't going to be perfect and move on kind of thing because like there's also times where like my calculations are off and like part eight has a few extra minutes you know and stuff like that like obviously I'm not doing the kind of video editing where I'm adding in like you know things that pop up and make sound and and facts flying across the screen and <laughs> all sorts of shit. I'm not doing that kind of stuff because that's not what I need to do it for. But yeah, like I could definitely understand like when you start getting into like those kind of areas where like I've seen people's videos that are edited and they've got like six to eight lines of just, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, What's the thing called? It oh tracks, like additional tracks or image tracks, soundtracks, stuff like that. Lines, so that they can add in different overlapping like features, like images or sounds and stuff over the recording and stuff. Like I've seen that, and I'm like I like hats off to everybody that does that. Like I've only taught myself the basics, and I've got like a free program, so I'm very limited with what I can do. So I don't push myself to do too much, but I also know that if I was to sit down and edit my stuff like really strongly every single night, I'd really have to like stream less days to be able to like get my videos out onto YouTube and stuff, for people to be able to like watch them when they feel like it. Um, but yeah, no, that's um, that's another thing is when you've got like a perfectionist trait. Oh God. Uh, it makes everything like a little bit difficult. The only thing I can say is like I have learnt from doing my emotes on um, Twitch when I draw live and stuff is I have like the desire to make sure that it is perfect exactly how I want it, how it looks, like no lines astray, no coloured dots outside of their lines, stuff like that, like flaws, right? But when I then look at it, the emote ends up being 28 pixels on Twitch and I'm like, that 500 plus drawing that I just did, those couple of extra lines that are outside of it and basically almost transparent don't fucking matter. Now, obviously if I use it for something else it matters, but not for what I'm using it for. And that's allowed me to accept like less than perfect. Obviously there's times when I wish it was. But I'm like, I don't have the, um, it takes me long enough to draw already that I, I can't, like, I can't just, like, keep going until it is perfect. Especially since, like, drawing in front of people is really daunting um, because, like, I'm live and people can question everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. So that's, um, it could be a little bit stressful. But, uh, yeah, I don't know being like, it's gonna be this small at the end, it doesn't matter, stuff like that is always a good one. I don't want to grab that, I want to chuck that in there and I want to chuck that in there for just a second. These electric guys will get me killed. There'll be electric bugs eventually in here that's gonna get me killed as well. Oh shit. Nope. God oh, damn. Yeah, the time it would take between streaming and editing would be hard to keep up with. Well, that's the thing is, no matter how long I stream for, it's almost about equal amount of time for editing. Because, like I said, the program I'm using is free to begin with. So it's not quick. I don't know if maybe a paid-for one would be quicker. It would probably be easier to get it to the point of rendering out. Um, 
but like sometimes it's just not. So, and of course, sometimes like if I, I edit something, abandoned. like um, Seven Days to Die is one where at the end of stream, like I'll have to go back and find where in the stream I hit the vultures. Like I can put a marker in my stream as I'm live, but I don't always Hello. remember to. But I do roughly remember where I was and what I was talking about at the point where I hit a vulture. Because when the vultures attack me, I change them into subscribe buttons so that when it goes to YouTube, it looks like I'm being attacked by the subscribe button. <laughs> I think it's great. And because um, like, I don't get attacked by vultures very often, so it's kind of practical, right? And uh, yeah, I, I just think it's like just a, a funny little thing that I can like add in. And it doesn't happen yes. every single video. It happens like... I don't know, maybe one in eight happens at best. Um, so like maybe once every other week I get one. Um, Dexterity and Maximus Summer. If it was more than two, so that'd be great. But yeah, like I do that and that takes me a bit of extra time because like, I don't know, I've got to got to edit it, then I've got to go find the thing um, and then I've got to bring it into a different program where I can then add in the subscribe button and stuff but I'm kind of like locked with where the image can sit so yeah I can't just like I haven't figured out yet how to move it around the screen to where I want it to be on the screen so I'm working with that I'll figure it out eventually or I'll get a different program in the future and I won't need to worry about it plus I'm also if you ever want permanent paid sub to fill more if you ever want it thank you I'm not quite sure what that is but I'm sure it's probably like an editing program but I appreciate it, but it's alright. I'll, um, there'll be things where, like, I want to look into stuff and, you know, I'm in no rush. That's the biggest thing is, like, I'm never in a rush to, like, sort this stuff out because, like, as I said, I'm still bumbling through, like, figuring out everything. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Nah, didn't offend. I'm not, I'm not offended. Um, yeah, no, I just don't know how to politely, like, decline offers. I don't know, like, yeah, it's alright, I just, no rush. Um, yeah. What is this? Vile Crawler the Slayer. I'm trying to, like, read a thing. Where'd he go? There. Cold and poison. Fine. That reminds me, I gotta move around so Vile doesn't, like, poison me in here. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, um, uh, like, I've... I think I looked at a couple of softwares at one point in time and they were like for like completely different purposes. Like there's all kinds of different software out there that exists to do specific things and I really only want to do like some pretty basic stuff. Like the only other thing, like I said, the only other thing I really want to kind of figure out is how to be able to, like if I have, if I had like a let's say the subscribe button for a moment say the vulture is coming from like over here on screen and it's like flying in i'd love to be able to like have the subscribe button like follow like be tracking on it instead of like i can only really put it in the center of the screen but it's such like a non-issue i don't really care i'm like it hasn't been enough of a need for me to like look into it at this time what are you doing asula I see Azula out in the hallway. We have a bag of cat litter and she's sniffing it intently. It's so cool to see a sub button come in like that. It would be. But yeah, like I said, I'm like... I don't know, it's just I've got... i got all sorts of stuff with like the channel. There's all sorts of stuff in the background, like... I don't know. If I'm not like overloaded editing something, because like I said, like... Editing can sometimes take, Jesus, as long as the stream did to do because like there's like downloading and uploading and fucking uh, rendering and waiting for that sort of stuff, right? So it takes a while. But um, like I kind of got lost with that because I was thinking about what Azula was doing with that cat litter. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. It takes a while, right? So. If I'm not like bogged down with something like that in my spare time, I tend to spend time just researching stuff. So like when I get the time for researching stuff, that's when I really get a chance to like learn other stuff. 
So like for instance, the week where I'm not streaming, not next week, the week after, like I may have spare time to be able to do researching and stuff, which I kind of already do anyway. Like researching just either how to like add in the images that can move around or like other stuff. I don't know. Like so far I've learnt, you know, the what well, I've learnt the PNG tuber. I learnt the drawing software that I used for that. Like the funny thing is I learnt how to use the drawing software that I've got at the same time as I learnt how to make my PNG tuber. So my avatar that you see on screen, I literally made with a program that I was unfamiliar with. <laughs> um, well, two programs that I was unfamiliar with, I should say. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I figure stuff out. I get there eventually. I just, I don't know. I go at my own pace. Are they absolutely ripping into it? And I'm really concerned because this is the room I was talking about. Once I clear these guys out, I'm pretty sure there he is. Like, I shouldn't have anybody else coming out here yet. I'm only hitting that wall, aren't I? It's pretty cool to see Bass in there, because the first time I saw him, I was like, oh god. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, fight him. Mind you, he looks pretty fucking cool. I get up close enough. I never got to see him last time, because I was, like, busy dying. But he looks pretty awesome. I'm supposed to be... <laughs> I'm supposed to be killing things. I fucking bit my lip during that, too. I, like, actually, like, genuinely, like, fucking numbed it. What was that? Alright, the other thing I did last time was I had a portal in here. And I know as soon as I wipe out all these bastards, I'm gonna just be left with whatever Bile summons, and I need a portal straight back in here. Technically, it would be better if it was, like, in a corner of the room. But, just in case, I just want to have one in here. This is gonna use up so much. Um, the other thing too is I found last week, here we go, no, you're still alive. I found out last week that the golden shit that I leave on the ground eventually disappears. So if nothing else, I'll have to pick up the gold. What are you sending in first? Uh, that's not too bad. Like, yeah, they're shamans and stuff. This isn't too bad. I can absolutely, like, cap them with this. The Annihilator. Nice. Oh, somebody dropped a ring. Get the gold before that finishes. I'm never worried about, like, the first guy. The first attack is always, like, half okay. Please stop breaking tower, please. No, I can walk them in. Use some parts. Oh, man. Let's get a decoy over there for a second. Oh, god damn. As long as I'm not in line with my Valkyries, because she's getting absolutely capped. She's gonna die in a second, but that's okay. What? Get another one of her in there and get a new decoy in there. I think this guy went up the back. Oh, he died. Mill the curse. Whoa. Another one. Let's get a new decoy over there. So happily receiving Pat smiles of support to go sleep. No. I like that a lot of there are staying back for once. I appreciate that. Oh god. Put a new decoy over there so you guys can stop shooting me. I don't know if he's able to still summon a new one while these guys are here. My guess is like maybe not. Let's get gold. Normally I could wait, but apparently that rejuvenated. Oh wow, I went through my whole list of health then. Super healing potion, give me that. Oh, these fuckers. Yeah, no, we're gonna die real quick doing this. She is too close. Let's get a new one in there. Yeah, you're way too close, Eliza. You're gonna die. I, I can give you a decoy. That's the best I can do. But I can give her health. I gave her a full fucking rejuvenation. What a waste. Nope, nope. I give you a decoy over there? Oh, God. I forgot about the fire thing. Uh, my Valkyrie's dead. New Valkyrie, Eliza can get some health. I need her to come over here. Oh, my Valkyrie's dead again. Holy shit. There goes Eliza. Decoy. Nope, I need health. This is gonna be a shit show to walk back into. 
Alright, let's go get Eliza and my Valkyrie. Alright, I've got to go through a lot of Valkyrie, I can already tell. Yes. And a lot of Eliza. Realistically, that's like 33,000. She's like 33 fucking thousand to get now. Yeah, hey, hey Marla. I did pick up like a few items. Not much. I'm gonna have to town portal as soon as I hit back in there. No, no, sell it. I got more. Yeah, I do. Cool. I want to grab the health because what I want to do. I'm gonna get out my rejuvenations. Realistically, I'm gonna put them in my spare spot. We'll see how it goes. It gives Viking head pats, and scratches. No. I love that. I kind of do want to keep a couple of like perfect things in case I get to socket something. I think that's what happens at the end. And I've got a bow that is better than this that's sitting in my inventory. Would this be, would be fire damage. It'd be so piddly. Alright. I could do it with some arrows. Fucking hell. Let's go buy some arrows. At your hey, service. I'm glad I noticed that before I went back in because it's not like it's showing me. It's not showing me at all that I'm low arrows. I've got like 59 arrows. I'm guessing that that may be glitched or something. <coughs> Sorry. Because it's supposed to show me when I'm low on arrows. Like it's supposed to be gold, but this is like red kind of levels of like low arrows. Alright. Let's grab me some of this stuff. Uh, yeah. Should be enough. Miss Al happily receives pats. Oh, scratches. Not oh, I can. I may have to buff out my inventory as we get more of these guys. Alright, let's leave that over there. No, you guys can have a decoy. Eliza looks like, whoa, shit, something absolutely capped my Valkyrie then. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. I did not get a new Valkyrie out. Let's get her some health. Uh, come on, I'm trying to give you health, bitch. Uh, my Valkyrie is dead again. Fucking hell. I need you guys to, like, stand in different spots. Like, I've given Eliza as much. God damn. Nope. This is really bad. Get health. Get Valkyrie. There she goes. Take a decoy, mate. My Valkyrie is gone again. No, decoy, Valkyrie. If I can kind of like keep them back. Like it would be ideal if I could keep them as far back as possible. I managed to get one decoy up halfway across the room before that. I'm not getting a chance to shoot the bastards because I'm too busy pulling up Valkyries and decoys and shit. Oh god. No, 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 don't hit me like that. Fuck off, mate. As soon as he hits me, like, it's like hella stun. I don't even want that going. Oh, I've gotten a bad spot. Alright, I think I, I think it's time for charms. I kind of already knew when I got up to these guys that we were going to need this. I might also swap over to a stronger bow. Takes another. Oh, it gives a feather to go sleeway so happily. No. Yeah, I think it might be time to change over. This does this does give me 100 to attack rating though. That's the only reason why I'm not fucking hell. And it gives me dexterity and resistance. This is why I haven't changed over to this one yet. Okay. I can see why I haven't done that. I was wondering what it was that was preventing me from swapping and I realized it's all the shit that I've got in it. If this thing was like completely buffed out with the same stuff as that, yeah gonna be out of health really quick. My inventory is gonna be very clear. So let's see. I want yeah dexterity would be great. Can you give me that? I'll be watching but not a keyboard. That's okay. It's fine. I don't need poison resistance yet. I could do a dexterity. I don't know why it wasn't letting me just there we go. Defense, defense, dexterity, maximum damage. Poison damage, that won't hurt. <clears throat> and it's attack rating, attack rating. Actually, that could buff up enough for me to swap over the bow. Poison damage, fire resistant, would be good right where I'm going. Mana. 
Quick reading. Hit recovery. That would be good because they keep knocking me pretty hard. Lightning resistance. Dexterity. There we go. Alright. Jesus. It's so fucking empty. Um, I'm obviously not really going to be able to pick up things. Like, I might be able to... Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to be able to do too much 